What's up everyone? It's your boy Terry speaking from the back of well, 612 Auto Works. Ah, now you guys know about the 73 Trans Am, Hotchkiss Trans Am that's going to SEMA. Yeah, that we've been, you know, pretty much busting it, working on. There you go. See it there? Well, we got a few more weeks before it has to be on a trailer on its way out to Las Vegas. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do something special. Alright, now car came with roll down windows but we're gonna go with electric windows we got this set from new relic now I have used new relic on my personal vehicles they are they're my go-to electric window company and uh, you got to go and give a big shout out to Smokey and the, and the crew because they do make a fantastic product so by the time this video airs you guys probably would already seen the car at SEMA but it's always nice to see the car in the in the stages where we're actually building it up and fixing it up so it can leave. And uh, so my job today is we're gonna install the new Relic windows. Cause you don't want the, the roll down crank windows all, you know, sitting up there, you know, trying to be cool, you know, let's go pull up this, you know, and just, you know, crank it down and all. Nah, you wanna be like, you know, roll up, yeah, what's up? Mm, window go up, window go down. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing I gotta do is, now being that this car is a project car and it's already been taken apart, I'm gonna remove the rails and we're gonna clean them up, right? Then we're gonna put them back and uh, install the regulators. And hopefully by the end of the day, have these windows going up and down. Now we're also gonna go step by step on how to install the windows, step by step how to install the rail. The beautiful thing about it is, it's pretty much the same way across the board with a little bit of maybe a couple changes. So if you could do it on this car, you pretty much can work your way through just about installing windows in just about any other GM car, the GM fleet. So let's get going. Let's open it up, see what we got. All right. All right. Got to read these. Yeah, you should always read the instructions. It's right here. You got the boot for the wire to go through the door. And here go one regulator. This is the right side. And you're probably saying, Terry, how do you know it's the right side? Ah, because it says so right there. <laughs> right side. All right. And you should have one more for left. And you've got the wiring. So let's go pull those rails out and clean them up before we install this. Now the window, the door window rides on two tracks. It rides on this track right here. You can see it. And the bolts are this one and these two and the back track, which are two bolts and and well there's another bolt that's supposed to be there but we'll find it and then the regulator roller rides on a track that's right here it'll become more clear when I'm removing Let me show you briefly how these rails go. Okay, so this is the rear, like this, and this is the front. So it goes like that. All right. Now, what happens is the rollers that are on the window will slide through here. So you got your front roll on the window, and you got your rear roll on the window, and they slide in here. So you got a little stopper there, so it tells just your adjustment. So if the window comes up a little too far, you can uh, you know, loosen that bolt and slide it down a little bit and you can make your adjustments there. This goes on the regulator on the inside, like this. Yep, let's get it in there. Just like that. And this rail bolts to the inside of the door. All right, and then you have this, which this rail, which goes like this and this is the part that the window bolts to. It slides up and down. And that's pretty much it. It's four rails and uh, you got your felt, your little, your felt fuzzies, which if, if they're, you know, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be beat, so you can always replace those. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. 
let's set it up. So with the new rail kit, they give you the grommets where you sneak the wire through them and you put, one side goes to the door, so you can plug the regulator. The other side goes to the side of the, the car. I guess that would be the side of the cow, I'm not sure. But anyways, you know, now this is good if you have, if you're going from a non-electric window uh, car to electric window car, you need these. But if you have electric windows and you're just upgrading, you might wanna keep the regular grommet that came out because in the side of the, in the, side of the cow, the, the, the hole is bigger than this because with these, you're gonna have to drill holes in your door and inside the cow. But this one, it's already done. And the side of the door where the wires go through to go to the regulator, it's big, like this big. So remember, not electric window cars, electric window cars, use the stock grommet. All right, see, this is what I was talking about. See, this is the opening right here on the side of the cow. This is the opening on the side of the door. So if you have non-electric windows, you're gonna to have to use the grommet that is provided, but if you do have electric windows and you're upgrading to the new relic, you, like I said, you wanna keep this grommet because it fits the hole and it fits the hole right there. So as you can see, the door is put back together. You got the new relic regulators in. Yeah, got the rails. We even opted to install the little stoppers, the little fuzzies, the little stopper right here. And uh, this door is ready to, ready to go. There you have it. Now we still gotta make some adjustments and we're gonna do that when we get the door panels. So the window still needs to be aligned and set. But as you can see, it goes up, it goes down, and it's very smooth. That's because we greased those rails. Remember that? Yeah, we greased those rails. And uh, like I said, we got a new window, but they make the pieces, the, the window clutch pieces that you can go in, you can change them, and you can have your, your existing window go up and down just as smooth as this. Now, there's a few tips that I wanna share with you guys which make your install a little bit easier. First thing is when you go and you put the glass in, all right, to try to fit the glass in to the rails while the glass is still out, you will have a Jonah of a time. All right, so what I did, what I usually do is I take the rails out, right? Don't take them out, just rest them, rest them on the floor, whatever. And then right here, the wheels on the, the, wheels on the window, they slide in right through here. You wanna move the glass a little forward, install the wheels, and then slide it down because you got the two bolts for that regulator rail, I like to install the regulator rail first, all right? And then at that point, you can go and you can move the rear rail and put it on the wheel of the window and do the same with the front and then make sure you tighten them down, you know, like loosely fit. See, these nuts are loosely fit. You know, it's gonna take you a little time. You're gonna have to muscle with it just a little bit, but it's not that bad, you can do it. So until we meet again, I'm looking at that clock on the wall. They, they got a clock just because I do a lot of videos from here, so they picked the clock up for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's time for me to head on off. And once again, I want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you've been showing me throughout this whole build, throughout all these builds, all my builds, you know, because it couldn't have been done without you. And again, I want to thank you guys. But until we see each other again, until we see each other again, which will be real soon, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.